everyone, it's Dora Stovich from Team Ted Fitness and today I want to give you five tips on how to make your weekend a little bit happier and healthier. I don't know why I just like had trouble saying happier. Anyways, um, first, drink lots of water. I know that's one of the things that Mike and I struggle with is on the weekends we often get off track and you know, you kind of get out of your weekly schedule and it's really easy to just like forget to drink water and then all of a sudden at the end of the day you're like, man, I'm tired, I'm hydrated, and, like hungry and dehydrated and I didn't drink enough water. So, hydrate, drink more than you need to, or than you think you need to, and most importantly, don't wait till you're thirsty, because that means you're already in trouble. So, drink lots of water. Two, make a healthy swap, ideally on both days. Meaning, you know, if you go to a cookout, or if you're going out to dinner with friends or maybe your spouse or whatever, you know, swap out something. Get a whole wheat pasta instead of regular pasta. Maybe go for a light beer or, you know, instead of finding the cheesiest, fattiest, greasiest thing on the menu, maybe get something that includes vegetables. You know, just just try to go for a little bit better of an option. Um, and if you do it both days, great. And then try to make it a regular thing. Three, be kind to a stranger. Now, I'm not saying, like, become besties and, you know, make a new BFF randomly in the street, but make eye contact, smile, hold the door, give a compliment. When you do something nice for a stranger without any expectation of anything in return, and, you know, they give you a real genuine thank you, like, or that smile where you just know that made their day, like... That is amazing. That feeling is incredible. And you're going to like get addicted to that. You're going to want to do it all the time. But start small. Yeah. Number four, connect with a loved one or an old friend. You know, somebody you haven't talked in a while, maybe a cousin, or if you don't see your parents too often. Um, you know, perhaps somebody you were buddy-buddy with in high school that you haven't talked in a while. You know, send them a quick text. Even an email, a, a link to a funny animal video. Just to let them know you're thinking about them, and you know, even just to ask, hey, how you been? It doesn't have to be anything complicated, it doesn't have to take it two hours of your time. It literally can take two seconds just to say, hey, been thinking about you. And like, that can make a world of difference to somebody. Because you never know when somebody's having that crappy day, and they're like, F this, and they get that text or that email, over and they're like, you know what, things ain't that bad. So, do that. And then lastly, this one's for yourself. Do something to make yourself grow. I mean internally, do something new. Either read something, you know, 10 pages of a, a personal development book, for instance. Go see a new show. You know, if you haven't been hiking, go hiking. If you haven't climbed a mountain, go climb a mountain. It doesn't have to be crazy. Like, I'm not saying go climb Mount Everest or nothing. But, you know, do something out of your comfort zone because it's it's going to force you to make new connections in your brain to, you know, you're going to build up your confidence when you get through it and see, hey, I did something new. And, you know, you don't know who you'll meet or if you'll realize that suddenly, like, mountain climbing is your passion and you are, like, in love with it and that's all you ever want to do again. Um, you know, go do something new. And if you think about it, if you just do one new thing every weekend, that's four new things a month. Like, four new bread new things a month. That's cool. That's 52 new things a year. Now, that's pretty bad. It's like, I learned 52 discrete things this year that I did not know before, that I haven't done before. Like, that's pretty cool. So, those are five things you can do really easily, really quickly, every single weekend to, you know, help yourself feel a little bit better and to help, hopefully, others feel a little bit better as well. So, let me know if you try these things out. I'd love to hear your stories. Um, if they go terribly, also let me know because then I could just, like, X out all this advice and tell people don't ever do this again. But hopefully that won't be the case. But I'd love to hear either way what your feedback is. So keep me posted.